Hello and welcome to your 16th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you about how to add a shapeless crafting recipe to your mod. And in this tutorial I am going to start a little um, mini-series on how to add a tool set. I know a lot of you um, have been asking for this and here it is. Um, so in this tutorial, uh, which will be part one of the tool set, I'm going to talk to you about how to add everyone's favorite tool, a pickaxe. Um, I decided this because the pickaxe is probably one of the most useful ones, but it's also one of the most complicated ones. So once you get the pickaxe down, the rest of the tool set is very easy. Now I've already created a little texture um, I wanted to create, I wanted to make it turquoise like our ingot, but then it would look just like the diamond pickaxe, so I gave it a slight greenish tint. Um, but other than that, it looks like a pickaxe. Um, hopefully you know how to do all of that. Anyway, um, let's just go ahead and get into the code. So, first we're going to declare public static item tutorial pickaxe and then int tutorial pickaxe id and this is completely normal so tutorial pickaxe id equals config dot get item ids um, if you don't know what any of this config stuff is go watch the configuration tutorial um, I explain all of the configuration stuff there, and it's very useful um, in case you didn't know what this is. But then we have tutorial pickaxe ID, and the default value will be 802.get int. There. Um, so we have our tutorial pickaxe all um, ready. I just need to registry.add name tutorial pickaxe tutorial pickaxe um you know it needs a better name tutorial pickaxe just doesn't sound very good um, I'm going to name it turquoiseum because if you add second declension latin endings to anything it makes it sound official so um, it'll be the turquoiseum pickaxe. Uh, I'm not going to change all of this, but yeah, that's that's what we'll call it: turquoiseum pickaxe, turquoiseum axe, whatever. Um, so that's it right now. You know, we're going to declare all of the tutorial. Um, no, let me register. Dot register item. Pickaxe turquoise pickaxe. I can't type today. Turquoiseum. Okay. Um, there we go. So it's going to be turquoiseum. Now I'm just going to create a new class, and this will be turquoiseum, I'm going to get very good at typing this by the end, turquoiseum pickaxe, and it'll be item turquoiseum pickaxe. Um, we just hit finish, and then we have public class item turquoiseum pickaxe extends item pickaxe, and just import item pickaxe from net.minecraft.item, and you'll see it's going to give us an error. All we need to do here is just say protected, because it's a constructor, item turquoiseum pickaxe, and then the parameters are int i, which is of course the id, and enum tool 
material, enum tool material. So um, for those of you who don't know what an enum is, basically what it is is it's um, it's a self it's a variable that you can create. Um, I'm not going to get in depth with it. Just suffice to know that it's like a variable that you have defined, um, or in this case, Minecraft has defined. And then we say super i enum tool material. And what's this error? Um, does this need to be public? Oh, nope, that's the error. And there we go. Okay, so um, yeah, be sure to import enum tool material. And that's actually it. Well, no, it's not. Eh. Um, sorry. Public string get texture file return slash tutorial tutorial slash tutorial underscore textures dot png. Okay, that's it for um, our Turquoisean pickaxe class. Now inside our tutorial.java, all we need to do is say tutorial pickaxe equals new item turquoiseum pickaxe. Um, and this will be tutorial pickaxe ID. And then we need to um, set the enum tool material. Um, for now, I'm just going to say turquoiseum. And then we say dot set um, icon index. And this is 253. Dot set item name. Turquoiseum pickaxe. Okay, um, now you'll see it's giving us an error, and that's because we haven't actually created the material turquoiseum. Um, and we're going to do that right now. So up here at the very top of the class, um, it doesn't actually matter where you put it in the class, I like to put it at the very top. Um, we're going to say, and if I can find it on my notes, static, well, public static enum tool material, and we need to import this. Oh, okay. Um, enum tool material, and this will be turquoiseum equals enum helper dot add tool material. And you'll see we have a lot of parameters to put in. So the very first thing is just the name of the material, and this will be turquoiseum. And the second thing is the harvest level. So what this is, is it's generally only used with the pickaxe, but it is the level at which it can mine an ore. So if you were to um, set it at zero, then it can mine wood. What? Mine wood? Um, zero is just wood. Um, well, gold and wood. And then one is stone, two is iron, and three is diamond. So those are the pickaxes. Um, if you set it to two, I believe it can harvest any ore that is in vanilla Minecraft. Um, so I'm just going to set it to two. Max uses, uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, what it is, is how many uses it can um, take before it breaks. I'm just going to set this to 20,000, um, because I like the number 20,000. And then we have the efficiency. So um, this is basically how fast it mines. I'm going to set this to 10.0F. A diamond pickaxe is 8.0F, um, so this is 
a bit faster than a diamond pickaxe. Uh, damage is how much damage it does to entities. So if I were to say three, it would do one and a half hearts of damage, I believe. I'm just going to set this to six to do six hearts or three hearts of damage. And enchantability, um, I'm not quite sure what this one is, but I know that in the um, diamond declaration it says 10, so I'm just going to set that to 10, um, and it should be as enchantable as diamonds. And then we just need to import enum tool material. So um, I think that's it. Obviously you would want to add a recipe when you actually create a pickaxe, but if I run it, in hindsight I probably should have created a little testing grounds for this. Oh well. Um, one second. Iron, coal, um, redstone, and emerald, and diamond. Oh, I did forget something actually. Um, yeah, so inside the load method, at the very bottom of the load method, all you want to do is say Minecraft Forge dot set tool class, and we'll say tutorial pickaxe. Um, this right here, um, just say pickaxe, axe, whatever the tool is, I'm just going to say pickaxe. And then the harvest level, set this to whatever your material was, in this case, uh, three. Pickaxe, or did I set it to two? I set it to two. Okay, now if we run, um, if you, one second. Sorry about that, uh, there was a quick issue and I had to pause the recording, but I'm back. Anyway, um, if we actually test our pickaxe, then let me just build a little wall here. Sorry, I, as I said previously, I probably should have done this earlier. Um, then I'm going to put diamond, emerald, redstone, gold, out, uh, iron, and coal. So if we give ourselves um, the turquoiseum pickaxe, which you'll see it's inside our um, tools category, and set us, ourselves to game mode zero, um, yeah, you can you can kind of see how similar it is to the diamond pickaxe due to the color. But then you'll see it mines um, coal pretty fast, iron, gold, redstone, diamond, and emerald, just like it should. But if we were to set it to say um, level one. Uh, this to level one. Do do do. And I'm just going to place this stuff down. Then you'll see that it actually can't mine it, um, but it can still mine iron. Um, and all is well and dandy. So um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope this is helpful. Sorry for the long tutorial, but as I stated previously, um, the pickaxe is probably one of the more complicated tools. Um, but now we've got everything set up to do the other tools, so it should be a lot faster. Um, so I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.